Hey, cute people. Can I share something with you guys? Empties. I never really generate enough empties in one month to do a video, but you can count on me at least twice a year. So this is my, like my semi-annual empty video because even though I have a lot of product, I use a lot of product, I just don't generate a lot of empties. But I just want to share some things with you first. Health, beauty, and I think one thing from the home, for the home. But one thing I want to share with you first is that I do take multivitamins. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. And there is a debate if multivitamins really help. I can say the two that I take each day helps me. I take magnesium because I always get charley horses in my legs. Well, really, it's starting to happen all over my body, my back, my fingers, wherever. But I always get pulled muscles. And this, for some reason, helps me. If I don't take it, trust me, I will feel it. So I take magnesium. This here is 500 milligrams. And I buy these from Rite Aid, Walgreens, um, CVS, whenever they have the buy one, get one free. And I always buy Nature's Bounty, because trust me, I do see a difference in where you purchase them in the brand, because I purchased Walmart. I don't think it's the Walmart brand, but I purchased one from Walmart that I've never seen in, in any other store, and they did not work. Same thing with the B12. I take B12 every day, because as old as I am, for whatever reason, my body does not digest it. So when... I don't have enough B12. I told you I can tell the signs. One sign is that my lips chap like crazy. Like crazy, like crazy, like crazy. And I take it every day. And if I don't, trust me, my lips just start peeling. The skin starts peeling. They may be peeling now because I haven't taken these things in like over a week, which is not really great. But I do think they work. So I'm going to throw that away. And then I'm going to share with you something else that I always talk to you guys about. And that is hand soap. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of hand soap here because the real reason I want to show this to you is because I just want to say that this is something that you should always have in your house. And this is something you should always use when you use the bathroom, you cook food, whatever. Wash your hands. And the best one I think to use that I like anyway is Dial. It doesn't matter what the fragrance is because I told you before, I like Dial because... It makes my bathroom smell good when you wash your hands. Now this one here is pomegranate, tangerine. There's so many different other fragrances. This one here I got, um, I believe came in like a care package when we had the hurricane here, we had to evacuate. So after you get back home, people were giving away things and I think this is one of them, which I can't remember the name of this one here. I wish I hadn't taken the lid, the, label off because I reused the bottle because you see how big it is and as a matter of fact I think I'm going to keep this bottle and this here as you can see is one from bed I always want to say bed when it's bath and body works this right here smells good I can't see myself really buying a lot of their hand soaps because these things are like three dollars on sale so the regular price is what six fifty I can't see spending yeah 650. I can't see spending that much money for hand soap when I can get this for a dollar. And this is 7.5 fluid ounces, and this one here is 8.75. But the bottle is really pretty. If you have a guest bathroom and you want to make it jazzy, jazzy, yeah, pick this up and put it in the bathroom. But again, that is something that you should always have in your house. And like I said, Dial is really my favorite brand i have soft soap too but i like dial and i like the spring water this is spring water and this one here is something with some peaches i can see what is it fresh peach i can't remember how that smell but i like them because they usually make the bathroom smell really really nice and this is another one that came in a care package i think this is target this is target I think it's Target, and it was so watery, but it did a great job. I like the fact that it was so big. I can use one of the smaller ones that I had to, you know, refill the bottle when it was empty. This one also came in another care package. Now, these are not all the hand soaps that I had through for the last past six months, but yeah. Keep soap in your house. Wash your hands after you use the bathroom. Wash your hands after you cook, before you cook, when you eat, before you eat. You know, wash your dirty hands. 
Now, I have something else I want to show you. I didn't save all the bottles, but I saved it for a reason, and I'll tell you why. Did I mention to you guys, this is not a new setup. I was just sitting in the living room in front of the window, nice curtain. Well, this is really a shade, so I figured I'd just sit here. Did I tell you guys that? If I didn't, I'm telling you now. But anyway, the next thing I saved, and this is not all the soap that we went through in this house, but I just wanna show these things to you, and that is always have some body soap, some body wash in your house too. This I purchased from Ulta. I don't know if you can see, it's the Ulta brand. And this fragrance is Sweet Grapefruit. I bought them on sale, of course. I have, I think, two, three others in my bathroom. And I really did not care for these at all. I like to have soap in my bathroom that I can smell in the bathroom. Makes the bathroom smell really good. Or either relaxes you before you go to bed when you take your shower. So to me, a shower can do one or two things. Relax you before you go to bed or help you invigorate yourself in the morning. This, mm, I won't buy any, but dial, anything dial I like. And like I said, this is not all the um, fragrances or bottles that I have, but I just wanted to show to you. Dial is one of my favorites. Here's a big old dial right here. This one was um, spring water, right? Now, there is a difference in body washes. Suave is cool, Suave is great, Suave is okay. But Suave does not lather up like Dow. I like lather. If you like lather, you'll like Dow. If you just have a couple of pennies and um, you don't want to spend a lot of money, Suave is for you. Guest bathroom, family coming over, this will be for you. Now I have some more things to show you, but I just need to show those things to you because I think it's always a great idea to keep body washes in your bathroom. So I have some other things I want to show you and give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, now I remember showing you guys once before in an empty video, um, this product right here and I strongly recommend it. I love this stuff here. I get it from Dollar General, under $2. This is not my favorite scent. This is Hawaiian Breeze. It's another one, linen something, and I love it. Put linen breeze on your carpet, and you'll smell it for a couple of days. This is one of my favorites. I really like it. Now, another thing I want to show you guys, and this is not really much of anything, but I had to show it to you. And... This here, what did I get this? I got this as a set, the Color Me Kiwi. This is Aquafina. It's a lip balm, I don't know if you can see it much. This was cool, I think I got it as a set from Dollar General. This here is Jergen Shea Butter. I think this is really good. I'm not sure if I would put it on my body, but I did use it as a hand lotion and it's pretty good. And I wasn't afraid to wear it out in the, out in the street because my hands were moisturized. This is something that I would say lasts damn near forever. And I kept this in my shower. This is the Freeman Cleansing Apple Cider Vinegar Clay Mask Scrub. This stuff is fantastic. As you can see, I use it down to the last. It may be a little bit in these little corners here and some maybe down here. Usually I'll take the top off and get up in there and get all that stuff out. But this stuff right here a little lasts a long way and I'm telling you. You don't need to use it every day, but this is fantastic for your face. I think you should try it. This I got from Dollar Tree. It didn't have a lot of product in it because I used it up right away, but I kept it at my nightstand. And I'm gonna tell you, this stuff was pretty good. I read a lotion or a hand cream by if I'm not afraid to carry it outside and use it in the street. You know, you go to the bathroom, wash your hands, you put your lotion on. Does it hold up? This held up pretty good. And it had other scents and other fruit, but this is the one I got. And I'm going to keep this. I think it's so cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's a pair, as you can see. And I'm going to keep this. I thought it was really cute. So, these, if you see these... Pick it up. I forgot what scent it was. I threw the top away, but I did haul it. Yeah, so I have some more stuff I want to show you guys. I'm looking everywhere because I got to remember to look at the lens and not look straight ahead. Because when I'm talking to somebody, uh, you're looking ahead, never to the left, right? But, okay. 
I'll get it right. Let me pick up some other stuff that I want to show you guys. I'm trying to make this quick. Okay, I am back with a few more things that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to save the hair stuff for last because that's always the most exciting. My empties are never really exciting because I don't get the latest stuff. I just get things that I like or things that were sent to me and so forth and on. But this is something that um, I really like. And I've been using up the samples that I've been sent from Ulta. This I like. Oh, yes. This is from Guerlain. It's Mon. It's like ED Parfum. Parfum. And this stuff smells really good. I use it to the very last drop. But I wanted to share with you just in case you were looking for some type of um, cologne as a gift. This. I'm not sure that I like these. I hold it in a video and everybody's like, oh, those are fantastic. Oh, they're fantastic. I didn't like it because I didn't care for the smell. They were, I think, wide enough from what I can remember. But one thing I can say, I didn't really care for the smell. I'm trying to find an inexpensive, cheap makeup remover towelette. If you know one, list it down below so that I can check it out. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. But I want to pick one. I'm using one now, and I don't really like that. And maybe I'll haul that in. <laughs> well, not haul it, but show you guys in an empty video because I don't like that one either. But this was pretty decent. It's the um, Pons Cold Cream Cleanser. I remember my cousin used to use this when I was young. She was a teenager, you know, or young adult. And she used to put this all over her face. I thought she was so glamorous. But I got the little small bottle, which I'm going to keep this bottle because I'm going to put some coconut oil in it. I used to use this to help me remove my makeup from my face. This, would you believe this right here is so hard? It's like brick hard. I got this from, I believe it was Dale's in New York. And it was a dollar, I believe. And I, I pretty much liked it. I've been looking for some at Dollar Tree, you know, in Dollar Tree, but I don't see them at all. So I don't know if they carry them or not. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. This here I kept because I wanted to mention this to you because we know Giovanni was very popular as far as hair. But their Gentle Cleanse Facial Bar was not. And I got this, um, again, as part of the care package when um, Hurricane Florence came and they were giving out things to us for, well, because a lot of us couldn't get back home and such like that. But I did not like this stuff. I could feel a film on my face. But in case you happen to be in the store and you were thinking about buying it, leave it in the store. Leave it right there. I like this. Yes to Karis Cotton. This I got from Dollar Tree and I liked it pretty much. Um, it was a mud clay mud mask, a comforting mask. It was white. And even though it has the one pack, I tried to use it and I did uh, more than once. I can't remember how many times, but... It dried out after a while, but it was pretty cool. Haha! -ha. Remember now, I mentioned to you guys that I could not buy a foundation until I used one. I finally used up one. This is really a BB cream by Black Radiance. And I really like BB creams by Black Radiance. I have a BB cream, their BB cream on as a matter of fact. I really did like this. I would purchase another one, but... I cannot purchase another one until I use up a lot of the ones I already have because I'm not buying another one. This I really did like too. This is the Yes to Carry Ultra Hydrating Moisturizing DIY Powder to Clay Mask. And this I like too. I think I used this twice. I got two uses out of this here. And I thought it was really great. I think I have some more. And I'm going to get back into using them because I really like them. They are comforting. Like I said, I told you guys before, I really don't believe masks do anything. But I think just the fact that you have them on, it gives you like a, a relaxation spa treatment routine. That's what I like it for. And I think that's all it really does, really. If you're a doctor, a dermatologist, a scientist, and you know different, leave it down in the comment section. But this I really liked. I have to find another one of these. This is the Aquafina Hydrating. It's a lip oil. I don't know if you can see this much. And I got this, I think, as part of this. I'm not sure where I got this from. But if I ever see it again, I'm going to get it because wherever I got it from, I don't see it there anymore. This is the Shadow Primer from City Color. 
This they sent me a good while ago, and I liked it, but it pretty much dried out, so I figured, and I, I've had it when I was in New York, so you can see pretty much it's dried out, so I figured I'll go ahead and get rid of this because I have other things I could use on my face. Now, this is something I really like, this particular system here, and I hold this, and I'll try to remember to leave the card up above so you can check out that video because you may... This particular routine here, I really like it. You hear me? Mm. The whole routine, like I said, look at the card above here. I'll t attach the video so you can watch it. I never did a... Did I do a review or did I just do a show and tell? I'm not sure, but check out the video. I like this whole routine. Everything about it, the cleansing bar, the serum. My face looks so bright. People were like, what did you do to your face? What did you do to your face? I was like, I macari it. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I got in here. Because I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Let's see. This I want to show you guys that I got from Ulta. So this is the MAC Cleansing Cleanse Off Oil. It was all right. If you've used this, it was a sample. So I think after three times using it, this was gone pretty much. But it is a sample. So if you've ever used this, I got to find a way to use this bottle because it's glass. I like this bottle here. So I'm going to keep it. But like I said, if you've used this before, let me know that you liked it, didn't like it, because I really didn't care for it. I wonder how much it really cost, the whole bottle, because I wouldn't get it, but I'm just curious. This, I know it's from L'Oreal. It has something to do with the primer. All the letters are scratched off. It's... I know it's a primer. But this is the jar. It was a sample that I had gotten. I bought something and then I got it, but I can't remember um, exactly what it is. But yeah, and I finished it. Was it for your eyelids only? Was it for your face? I think it was for your whole face. If you're familiar with L'Oreal, you know, and I think a lot of you would be. Okay, now I have some more things I want to show you guys, and this stuff is going to be about hair, hair empties. So I'm going to grab that stuff real quick. Run through that stuff real fast so I can get this video completed because I don't want it to be ultra long. But remember, this is my semi-annual empties. <sighs> okay, cute people. I saved the best stuff for last. This has to do with hair. And I have quite a few empties. Not a lot, lot, but quite a few. So as I said before, I'm going to move through them kind of quickly, in no particular order. Whatever I pull out is what I'll talk about. Bam, bam. Okay, so now the first thing I put, pull out is the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter. This leave-in, I'm sure I got from Curl Kit. I really can say that I like it. Unfortunately, I would not purchase it again right away because I have 20,000 other products that I need to try to get through. But this, I really do like. I've tried the shampoo and conditioner at one point. I think I still have it in my stash. And I like it too. So this is something that I like. Let's see what the next thing is. Okay. So this is the vitamin E oil I purchased when I lived in New Wave, New York. It was $1.99. I'm sure other places probably have it for much more. As you know, we know this is not... Um, and authentic or would that be the word I want to use authentic organic or unprocessed <laughs> vitamin oil but I tried it and I liked it I like the jar I have to figure out a way to use it I like to reuse jars but how many other concoctions how many concoctions can I make but I really did like this I wouldn't purchase it again really um, only because um, there's other oils that I like instead. Now this, I really did like, and I got this from Curl Kit or Curl Box. But as you can see, the lid is pretty much washed out. I cannot remember what the name of it is, but I can tell you one thing, this stuff smells so good, so good. I know, I gotta keep looking at y'all. I'm looking everywhere else. But this stuff smells divine. 
oh my goodness it was really really nice in my head i really really like it if i know it's karenique that's it karenique yeah i hope they make other products but i have that and i know i have another one in here but this is something i really liked too this is um eden body works the peppermint tree oil and i really did like this if you like peppermint I would say try it, but this is, what is this one? This one, oh, this is the hair milk. And I really did like it. You can see I cleaned this jar out because when it gets, when it was finished, I put water, shake it up, and put it in my spray bottle. But I like it. I don't think I would ever purchase it again, um, only because it didn't wow me, but I won't say I didn't like it, but it, I didn't feel like a tingling sensation. This is the hair milk, but it was okay. And then I have here Jamaican mango and lime, Jamaican black castor oil. This is the original. I think I got this. I'm not sure if I purchased this myself from Sally's or did I get this in a box. But I like it. I mean, what can you say about castor oil, right? I mean, either you like it or you don't. My hair being thick enough, I like it. This hair is something that I like too. And I usually would try to keep this in my stash. If I don't have a deep conditioner, this is the Cantu Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. I don't have one in my stash. Usually, I keep one in my stash um, because one thing about this, it works really great. It feels good in my hair and it's inexpensive and you can find it anywhere. But for some reason, I don't have one in my stash. And this, let's see. Okay, that other mango and lime, I think I got in a curl kit. So this one here, I purchased from Sally. This is the peppermint oil. It was all right. I mean, it smelled like peppermint. Um, if anything, if you like peppermint, cool. But I would just get the plain one. I mean, this didn't dazzle me. I didn't see anything or any reason why I had to have this over the regular one. I know, stop looking over there, right? This one here is the conditioner. I had the whole set, so yeah. I had it for a while, so I said, let me just go ahead and try it. And again, um, man, it was cool. I can't say anything bad about it, but then I can't say that I would want to use it over and over again. This um, Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Edge Control Smoother. All right, now, this I bought from Sally's, I believe. <clears throat> they had a sale going on. <coughs> mm, excuse me. This here was pretty decent. I can't say I did not like it. I have 4C hair, and my hair, don't matter what I put on the edge, as long as it makes it look nice and neat, that's all I care for. As you can see, I scraped this baby down to the jaw I pretty much liked it for the price point I would not buy it again unless I saw it somewhere really really discounted because I think I could find something in the drugstore that works just as well it was really really hard thick paste I don't want to say hard but I say firm so it would make my edges nice and neat holding them down all day no but that was okay as long as it looked neat I ain't care. Here's another one of those Karenese. And this was like um, a shea butter concoction. You know, you put it in your hand, you melt it up. But this stuff smells so good. Mm. Lord have mercy. Mm. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to try to see if I can look them up online. They may have some information back here, but I can't see that. This I got from, I'm very much sure it was Curl Kit. Okay, let me read it to you because you can't see it. This is The Natures by Hask. Remember Hask with the placenta leave-in? This is the dry oil. I can't remember if I liked it or disliked it. But I sure did use it. Uh, and I like this jar. The thing. The little pump pump. Boom pump. So you know I'm going to keep this and repurpose this some type of way. And let's see what else I got in here. Here's another one of those little cheap oils. This is the Shea Butter Oil. 
And this is from the company Sunflower Make Maker Care. Sunflower Maker Care. And it, it was only $1.99. I know when I purchased it, it was like three or four different types. So I bought all four. And then I would go to other beauty supply stores in New York and they would have it for like $2.99. But like I said, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't see a reason to buy it. Like I said, I know this is not um, an authentic shea butter oil. Then again, I don't know, but I'm thinking it's not. But I mean, for $1.99, it, it did okay. I mean, I can't say it was like the best thing ever. Okay, so then I got this, I'm sure from Amazon, nope. I'm not sure, but this is a little jar of the jojoba oil. It's a little tiny thing, as you can see. Would I get this again? Heck yeah, I really liked it. And then this here is the Amla and Olive Heavy Cream. It's a little um, sample jar that I must have had for quite some time and finished it up. And did I like this stuff? Yep, I really, really did. And um, I haven't purchased anything from this company in a good while. As a matter of fact, I'm going to check them out too, um, Kemet Biological, and see what they have because um, nobody's talking about them anymore. Let's see. Okay, so that is it for my empties. I had quite a few things that I wanted to share with you guys, and I'm glad that I was able to do so because it was important to me to do so. Listen. If you stay to the end of this video, you may as well go ahead and subscribe, be a cute person, and go ahead and do it for more me. Like, why not? I know I'm not consistent with videos, but check me out when I'm here. Hopefully, I'll do better. I know people say that all the time, but just check me out when I'm here. I mean, like, why not? Ugh, why not? Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and now I'm looking at you eye to eye. That's something I would like for you to do. But listen... I'm going to end this video now because it has to be about 12 a.m. And I need to do something with my face, like take it off, change my clothes, get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is a work day for me. I think it may be for you too. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to end the video and get myself together. But I do want to say that I thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I will see you in the next and I see a fly flying around my house. I keep telling everybody, stop leaving that door open. Do they listen? No. That's okay. But, yeah, guys, you know, all I want you to do is share and spread love.